Morning guys, G2P angler Jason Reese here. It is a beautiful mid-May morning heading out of Hillsborough Inlet here. Had a little engine trouble this morning, so I'm out on one engine and it's, um, we're gonna stay close to port for uh, just in case, but it is beautiful out here today. Look at this. Lake Atlantic out there, out here with just skipper. So I haven't been up fishing by myself for a while. It'll be a solo day. We're gonna stay close to port, so we'll keep things simple. Also, if it's full of seaweed out here like it has been, I'm probably gonna head in early because I only brought stuff to troll today and I'm not gonna spend the whole morning clearing lines by myself. So I'll uh, talk to you about what is going out here in the spread. Skipper, you gotta, you gotta let me go. All right, so I'm going out in the spread today. We've got on the shotgun, this tuna taco, or this like, it's like an Islander with a, uh, a squid, small hook. Um, and we're gonna lean towards blackfin tuna today. So we're gonna have um, tuna tacos going out on the outriggers. Um, blue over there, pink on this one, pink sea witch on the planer, and we're gonna run this DTX 200 um, closer to the boat there. And see, now that I know that we can pick up, you know, wahoo, kingfish, other fish off the uh, near, near the reef with that um, DTX minnow, I'm just gonna run, it's easier to run in a, uh, a solo spread, so. Uh, we'll see what we get into out here, and if it's full of weeds, we'll be heading back early, and we'll stick and close to Hillsborough with it anyway, so hopefully uh, we can find some fish close to home today. 101 feet here in Fort Lauderdale. Went over a wreck, and I think I just hooked up on the planer rod, so. No, I think it's a cuda. That's a big cuda. All right. So, got the uh, the trollers conundrum here. If you look off to the side here, you see nothing but scattered weed. So it took me till about 600 feet of water to even find the blue water this morning. And then once I found the blue water, it was scattered weed everywhere, making it like pretty untrollable. I've done nothing but clean and redeploy lines for the probably the past like 20 minutes and it's just there, there's no sign of it slowing down if you look ahead it's just nothing but more of that scattered weed kind of as far as you can see here so the dilemma is keep trying to clear lines and keep looking for deeper cleaner water which I just as far as I can see I pulled binoculars out a minute ago too and all I can see is scattered weed out here so I think I'm probably gonna wind up pulling stuff in and heading in a little bit shallower, try to get away from the weed, even though I take myself out of action for fishing for the uh, blackfin tuna and some of the pelagic fish I wanted to get out today in the blue water, but you gotta work with what you have when the uh, conditions are, uh, are tough. So probably gonna pull the spread in and move through this weed here and then uh, drop it back in a little bit shallower and see if we can get lucky. It's a mahi, I think. <laughs> yeah, 700 feet of water, or basically um, out east of Boca Inlet here. Sweet. Man, I've been trolling, trolling for a while, hoping there was something on this weed line. <laughs> yes. And the fun, uh, the funnest thing is. Having my nephew on speakerphone who loves fishing <laughs> getting to be a part of this with me. <laughs> I think it's a mahi. This thing went airborne a second ago. It's not, it's not anything big, but man, I could use one in the box right now. Woo! Nope. Oh man, I got caught another line here. What is it? Oh my God, don't be another barracuda. Oh my God, it's another barracuda. Ah, uh, two barracuda for the day. Boo. Oh crap. That sucks. <laughs> All right, well, another barracuda. Let me release this thing and get, get stuff going again. Well. 
Sorry, buddy. I wish there was something. I wish there was something more awesome to tell you about right now. Can't wait for you to come out here fishing with me again in June. All right, so we we stayed out like seven to eight hundred for a while. We trolled and only got that one barracuda bite, and I was clearing lines just nonstop, which I promised myself I wasn't going to do today. I was going to relax and enjoy. It was a it's a comfortable day out here. I think we found some better water to troll in, and by better I mean less seaweed, but it's not cobalt blue anymore. So I think our odds for uh, blackfin tuna, some of which we wanted, are probably going downhill. But at least we get to. Um, relax and enjoy the day a little bit more and kind of make the most of it out here. So we're made the turn um, like halfway between Boca and Boynton and I'm heading back towards Hillsboro Inlet. We pick up something great. If not, we'll head in late morning and uh, still still call it a great day. A couple of fish and um, enjoyed a nice day out here with my favorite dog. Don't tell Pino. And um, yeah, it's, you know, never a bad day out here. It's a flat water and mating season, but there has just been so many sea turtles out here today. Pretty awesome. 76 feet of water here off the uh, reef and um, the planer just got hit. So it actually got hit earlier with a short strike. It did get hit. It got totally bit off. Well, I would say that's the work of a kingfish, which is kind of what I was targeting here, but at least it was a bite. I'll have to re-rig this up before turning around and heading back the other way here. Well, that's unfortunate. This does happen sometimes planer fishing. We don't fish with wires, so every once in a while you get a bite off a king or if you're out deeper sometimes a small wahoo will hit these and miss miss the hook but still some action all right we're in 60 feet of water just um just north of hillsborough inlet and the planer went off i've been trolling the reef trying to pick up something off of the reef whether it's a king or if you watched my last video we got a mutton off of there last time like Man, this has been day of the Barracuda. Three Cuda today and nothing else killing me. Well, I think it's probably gonna do it for us. That, uh, that last Cuda might have broken my spirit. So I think highlights for today is we went, we maximized all three, all three bites. Unfortunately, all three of them were Barracuda, which has not happened to me before where I only got three bites and caught three fish and all of them were barracuda so that's it's a bummer i guess it's better than catching nothing though um other highlights i mean it was a gorgeous day out here with my dog super super comfortable and nice out here today i think that the calm conditions don't always make for great fishing i think if i brought bottom gear um we could have gone to the reef and caught some caught some buttons or at least some yellow tails and brought home dinner Ironically, I was trying to be lazy today and say, all right, I'm not going to burn myself out. I'm just going to go out there and troll for a little bit and come back in. I'm not going to deal with anchoring and chumming and everything. And <laughs> I still wound up working too much clearing out lines. So um, still a great day on the water out here. The, uh, I think some lessons learned where maybe next time just bring a little more bottom gear just in case. I think I still could have caught a few fish and been happy about it and not probably put in less effort than clearing weed off the lines. And um, I think also just realizing that there's certain days depending on what the weeds are doing and what the current's doing and where the blue water is that like your plan to troll out here for a pelagic fish that you want to catch just isn't going to happen so i tried to go with as weedless lures as possible i was using um some like trolling feathers things that are hard to pick up weed and they were still full of weeds and then trolling greener water i'm not going to catch blackfin tuna in this water where i'm catching kingfish and stuff so i think it would have been easy enough to swap those out with other lures that may have been a little more productive near the, near the reef and like 100 feet of water but that's how it goes it didn't come prepared for everything but caught a few fish had a uh, had a had a great day the good news is that i am not going to be spending two hours cleaning the boat and um filleting fish <laughs> it's going to be pretty fast 
<laughs> to rinse up and get and get done with the day today. But um, hopefully we'll come back out here next time and uh, put a, put a few more fish in the box. And appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if there's anything specific that you guys want to see me doing out here, whether it's teaching a certain thing or trying to learn a certain thing myself or even types of um, lures to troll that you're curious about. You can go pick one up and give it a shot and see, see how it does. Thanks for watching, guys.